der, der, ah, sorry. Der, das, äh, uh, ah, sehr Dia de los Muertos. Dia de los, Dia de los Muertos, sorry. Come on, you're Mexican, Tom. I know, I know, I know. Hey everyone, I'm In Touch, it's Tom Sandoval, and I'm going to be doing a tutorial with drag star Rhea, who is uh, going to be teaching me the Dia de los Muertos face makeup. Rhea, what's up? Hey, what's up, Tom? How are How's you? How's it going? Love the stash. Oh uh, yeah, thank you. It only took like <laughs> uh, like eight months to grow out. All right, I think first and foremost to celebrate this occasion, we should definitely have a shot of tequila. What do you think? Absolutely, in true Tom Sandoval form. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Salud. Mm. Also, uh, Rhea was, is my drag mother for when I'm Visa Manderhump, which I was for BravoCon. She helped me go out and get everything. Really, really helped out and really helped with that full transformation. Uh, are you ready to jump in? I'm ready. My white. Of course, light. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm super excited. We're gonna teach you some Dia de los Muertos holiday makeup. I'm going to be doing a drag version. So I will be a fabulous supermodel at the end of this. And then we have this gorgeous <laughs> band, uh, Tom, who's gonna turn into a Day of the Dead male version. Um, and we're gonna be able to achieve this both at the same time together. So this is gonna be really fun. Uh, but pull yes. out your makeup, pull out your, uh, your notebook and write it down because uh, the Day of the Dead is coming. It's November 1st. The most basic part of Dia de los Muertos makeup is the clown white. You can get this anywhere. You can get this at your Halloween store, Party City. Uh, sometimes they call it like a grease paint. And this is actually what clowns use to put on their foundation. It's what I like to use when I'm clowning, so. <laughs> You're gonna wanna uh, use your finger and warm it up a little bit. Okay. And just, Go in. Just go Everywhere. in. Everywhere. All right, Everywhere. here we go. This is your base. This is what's going to make you look dead. Should I go around the facial hair? Oh, yeah, go around it. OK. Now that we have uh, some of the product on your face, grab your beauty blender. And the trick to uh, the beauty blender is to make sure that you get it a little damp before you use it. Tom, your bone structure is so beautiful, you already look like you have Dio de los Muertos. Oh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> All right, so you blend it like this, yep. like pat it? Yep, pat it. Always pat, never um, move your Light. brush side to side on your face. And see how much smoother that's putting the paint? Oh yeah. Now, I know we look crazy, but the beauty of drag is the ugly of drag. It's really <laughs> ugly before you finish. Uh, don't forget true. your ears. That I'll just add straight from the thing, right? Just use the excess on your Okay. On your beauty blender? Oh, you're right, you're right, yes. All right, so let's get, get into the black eyeliner. Are you ready? All right, so what do we do? So we are okay. going to take uh, your pencil, put it right here in the middle of your eye. Okay. And you're going to just draw a big circle. You know what, for you, because I don't have any eyebrows, I'm doing a big circle. For you, I would just do a line right here from your eyebrow mm -hmm. down to your eye, like that. Okay. Straight down from your eyebrow to the, the point of the inside of your eye. Like that? Yep, and then continue. And meet on the other side. Okay, and just color it in. Wow, okay. That's good, that's great though. We're gonna go back on top of it with a powder so it'll get rid of some of those lines. Okay, cool. We're just kind of laying down a, a foundation and a base to make sure that that black is super black. Okay. All right, how you those... doing there? What do you think? I love it, perfect. Okay. Okay, so we are gonna go with your liner again. We're gonna go in with the cheeks. Okay. And we're gonna start right up, like, you, what is this that little ear piece of your, What's your little piece of the ear right there? The top part of that? I don't know. Yeah, just right there. Start there. I think there. it's the thorax. I'm just kidding. This is your line. I'm <laughs> just I'm kidding. Okay. I'm <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna take this and you're just gonna go straight down. Okay. 
And what you're doing here is you're creating that like skeletal cheekbone. Yeah, perfect, perfect. Uh, okay. I don't have like the most steadiest hands. Yeah, and you know what, my, <laughs> I don't have very great symmetry either, but you know, they're, they're cousins, not twins. I feel like you might need to put more white on your lips. Okay. So if you don't have enough uh, clown white, go ahead and put more. Uh, make it so that your lips aren't really there. Okay. Now, you're basically going to continue. You know like Joker? Yes. You're gonna continue. And you're gonna go under this line from your cheek and then bring okay. it back up. Okay. So it'll go something like this. Okay. Mm-hmm, perfect. Like that? Perfect. Okay. Now you're gonna take your uh, liner. Okay. Again. Right down the middle? Right down the middle. And then just continue. These are, these are basically your teeth. So think about like how wide your teeth are. Okay. All right. And continue your teeth past through your cheek. If I have a mustache, maybe I should stop or no? No, keep it going. Okay. Cause you know what? Maybe we'll extend your mustache a little bit. Okay. Let's do a little, um, yeah, right there. What are that at the end of your mustache? Why don't you do a little a little curly cue so that your mustache goes like this? Okay, like kind of draw that in there. Okay, let's take a break from tracing and let's set our face. Okay. And by setting the face, that means all the wetness that you have. We're gonna set it so that it doesn't move anymore. Um, okay. And stays in place. So the way we do that is I, we got a large powder brush and a neutral set powder. Now this looks white, but it's gonna, um, when you brush it off, it's gonna be completely translucent. So you're not gonna lose any of the blackness. We okay. wanted to do this to create a, a template for us. So this is like the beginning of a coloring book. So when you see the coloring book, you have the black lines and you know where to color, this is it. Yeah, okay, cool. I like to fill my brush up with it, like get all the powder in there. Yeah. Tap down. Okay. So it goes inside the brush. And then pat throughout your whole face, even over yeah. the black. And you should have powder like flying all over your face, all over your room, getting all over your shit. That means you're doing it right. Oh yeah, it's definitely getting everywhere. Mm -hmm. Love it. Yep. Love it. All right, another shot of tequila. Perfect. Yes. Cheers. Mm. So what's uh, what's next? Next, we are gonna take your medium blending brush and this is when the fun starts. This is when you get to like really be an artist. And your gray, do you have a gray eyeshadow? I do. Go in there with your medium brush. Swirl around. Mm-hmm, get in there. Okay. And then just Right where your line was, where you're uh, black, mm -hmm. go right under it and just okay. kind of shade it down. Downward. Yeah, shade it down, follow the line. Kind of see that? Yeah. And it's gonna create like a, a, a an ombre, a gradient, just to make it look smooth and less sharp. Uh, take that gray and keep uh -huh. that gray uh, going up here. Bring it up to your temples. Okay. And, and, and this will narrow out your skull so it looks a little bit more... Okay. You see that? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I get what you're saying. Mm-hmm. I'm going to continue this gray and contour my uh, chin. Okay. And I'll, uh... speaking, speaking of makeup, I have to send you... Um, I have my own makeup line, men's makeup. What? Yeah. It's How did I miss that? Yeah. What is it called? Tell me all about it. Where are your products? They're in CVS. What? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Tom, that's major. I know. This is our 
concealer pen. I use the oh, light. Wow. I use the light and then I, um, we have a tinted moisturizer that uh, also has a matte finish. Um, we also have a, a, a cleansing gel as well. Okay. Can we do a, um, can we do a edited applause right now? <laughs> yes, get Tom Sandoval's new makeup. That's major at CVS. I, what is it called? Strix. S-T-R-Y-X. All right, so we're gonna go in, now that we've uh, blended out the gray, we're gonna go to the closest part of the pencil that you use and go in with your black eyeshadow. Okay. Just right at the line, not all over where you put the gray, just right at the line and see the difference of that gradient right there? Yeah. Just putting that black powder. Yeah, see that? Uh, see a, a blend just like, uh, Oh yeah. Oh, oh yeah. You're killing it. I mean, you're really killing it too, Tom. Yeah. Now take that black and blacken in your eyes and kind of get that blackness back. I guess you want to be generous with the black, huh? Absolutely. You want it to be as dark as you can. Get your favorite felt tipped liner. Now you're going to do little, I want to say like half circles little half circles and you're gonna start right here and you're gonna do half circle. Wow. Half circle all the way around. All right. Here goes nothing. I'm definitely don't have the steadiest of hands. There we go. All right. Wow. That was a lot easier than the first one. You know, they're not twins, they're cousins, but I'm fine they're, with it. They're cousins. You know? Everybody's got their good side, you know? All Mine right. is, remains to be seen. <laughs> I know, yours is great. <laughs> okay, so now I'm gonna do a little um, spider web action on my forehead. Do you wanna join me? No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what you're gonna do oh, is you're gonna do a line right here from the middle of your forehead all okay. the way down. Perfect. Okay. Yep. And kind of do like an arrow pointing up. Like, oh yeah, definitely an arrow pointing up. All right. Straight up. And then you're gonna add two more lines like a marijuana leaf. Okay. So you have like this upside down marijuana leaf on your head. Okay. And now you're gonna do little, like little half circles again. See that? Hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. Killing it. All right. Up and down. And down. Yep. Oh, I love it. I absolutely love it. I mean, yours looks a little bit like an umbrella. But... <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> In the valleys of your mountains, of your circles, yeah. do a dot. Okay. And you know what? I'm going to bring some dots down right here, right above the cheekbone too. So take in your pen. Okay. And just go over your teeth again. And the reason you're going back over your teeth is because we put that powder on top of it. So you might've lost some of that, that color. Right. So we're just gonna give it that dimension. And what it's gonna do is it's gonna create a black, black line on like the semi black line and create a, a blend in the teeth as well, just by going over on top of it. Oh yeah, there we go. You're looking good, man. Yeah, I guess. My mustache is a little weird, but... Okay, so what we're gonna do, did you get a black liquid lip? Yes. I want you to take this liquid lip, don't, mm -hmm. don't get a lot of excess, and put it on your beard. Okay. Up and down, uh-huh. And just really accent that mustache. Okay. My hair's okay. so dark, but for some reason with this makeup, it looks so much browner. Crazy. Well, yeah, that's a, that's the thing that sucks about uh, white makeup. Like you gotta like have the whitest teeth too, because if you smile, oh, yeah. and, like you're like, oh, sh she got butter blocks. Yeah, <laughs> for real. <laughs> All right, we're gonna now go in with your mascara, and now go over where your liquid lip was, and just kind of brush your hairs like you would brush your hair. Okay. Yep. 
Um, now I'm going to use a mascara where you're supposed to ma ma use it is your eyes. So I'm going to just do mascara on my eyelashes. And Tom, you do the same. Okay, cool. And guys, be careful when you're doing your mascara. Just comb outward, lift, and go outward. Yes, come on, teach them. When, when removing eyeliner or mascara, sometimes you can take the corner of like your toothpaste and put like a either a, a wet or a makeup wipe with the corner of it and really get in there. It's toothpaste? Huh? Yeah. Toothpaste? Yeah, like this You're thing crazy. Right here. I would not suggest toothpaste. <laughs> no, you do this and you like get like, do you get that corner with the makeup wipe? and you can get in there and get it off. Oh, wow. That is a dude trick for sure. All right. So this is when I like to say the fun starts because this is when we get to play with glitter. This is what it looks like. Gorgeous. And um, use your fingers. Get okay. some on your finger just like that. Put it on your lid okay. and pat, don't rub. This glitter reminds me of like, I've definitely had glitter on my face for Coachella. I've used like loose glitter with like hair gel before, like liquid hair gel. And oh yeah, kind of absolutely. Good? Yeah. How do I look? You look good, looking good and feeling gorgeous. Let's go in with the silver. All right, let's do silver. Silver. And we're gonna put it right here. Oh. Right where your cheekbone is. Tom, we're almost done. Okay, cool. There's one thing left we need to do, and that is our nose. And the way to do that is to pick this, the point of your nostril right here on this side, and just go straight up and make a line. Okay. Like that. And the same right here. And then you're gonna do another one of those half circles Boom, like this. See that? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we color it in. Yep, and color it in. All right. All right. I'm going to put on this okay. little head cap here. And I'm going to start getting in my look. Wow. Yeah. Awesome. Ah! Oh! <laughs> okay. I have my black jacket. Oh, yes. Okay, now one little trick for you guys. Take your clown white and take your black, and I'm gonna do it very quick. I have all this nude right here, right? So I'm going yeah. to take one, two, three. One, two, three. One, okay. two, three. I'm gonna put the white on my three fingers, and I'm gonna go like this. And then you will take your black liquid lip and give them a little of this. Nice. Just so it looks like you, you know, you did a little something. Make sure you don't get your uh, makeup in your human hair wig. Yeah, how do you clean how do you clean a wig like that? I mean shampoo and conditioner, but I don't like to clean my clean my wigs that much because I don't want the color to fade. So yeah. usually there you can find cigarette butts and and uh, most of my um, night regrets in these wigs. Okay, Love now it. with these lashes, they're a little big and heavy, so I'm not gonna actually put them on my lash line. I'm going to put them in the crease of my eye. This is a Trixie Mattel trick, who's a very famous drag queen. Oh, everybody Oscar. knows Trixie Mattel. Yeah, she is everything. She is the one. And I love her because she played my song, Lover Girl, before her concert, because she loved it so much. She picked my song. I was like, oh, I'm so famous, you can't talk to me no more. Boom. All right, I'm ready. You know what, Tom? Um, mm. I had such a great time doing this with you. Happy Dio de los Muertos. I don't know how happy this holiday is, but you look fabulous. You so, look fabulous, Rhea. Thank you so much for this. this uh, awesome. Here's to you. Here's to me. The best of friends we all shall be. If it ever we disagree, you and here's to me. Cheers. To staying positive and testing negative. Absolutely. See you soon. All right, bye. Bye. Ooh.